So yeah guys, this has been abandoned for a long time as evidenced by the ceiling and look at the walkways. Parts of the stairs are gone. So I've had to go around certain sections Well, before you even get inside this abandoned strip club, it's a very, very long walkway to get down to the street. And the steps and everything else are falling apart. So it's a little bit of a interesting experience just getting up here. But anyway, let me show you what this looks like inside. All right, so first thing I noticed is there's a lot of these I don't know what to call them, but streamers or something, decorations. A lot of them left on the roof. And then we're back to the retro chairs. Except this time they're orange instead of blue. If you watched my uh, abandoned retro bar hotel, you would. Uh, You'd recognize these old school chairs. But I believe the main the main stage or whatever is through these doors. So let's go inside. Oh man. This is really cool looking. Alright, let me bump my light up a little bit. Wow. Like I said guys, it is kind of a weird experience being here, but look how many seats there are. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's it's like small compared to what you know you would see in probably the U.S. But for here in Japan, this is a pretty good sized facility. So let's go to kind of the other side and see what's going on near the stage area. It's kind of weird to think how many different, uh, you know, performances and shows happened here every single night. And a lot of probably old gentlemen trying to, uh, I guess, relax and have a good time. I'm trying to figure out what that is on the wall back there. I thought it was like a llama but I think it's a building. So let's go check that out. So as you can tell up there, there were a bunch of lights, so they'd be obviously shining down. Right. Of course, on the person dancing around, But, I'm going to flip you guys around here. I don't know. It's like a building with a weird, creepy mask face. I don't know. I'm 
I'm not sure what, I mean it's a building obviously, but I don't know what the other part is. Yeah, unfortunately guys, my camera does not shoot good pictures even with my bright flashlight here. So I usually have to use my, like this video here, take a still picture out of the video and use that because it just doesn't do well with low light. So if I do a lot of pauses, that's usually why, so I can get some good pictures out of some of the places I go. All right, so basically once you exit the stage area, there's a couple different hallways. This one goes down here. There's a bathroom around the corner. I don't know what's down the hall. These floors are really squishy and unstable. I don't know if you can kind of hear it. They're a little unstable, so I don't know if I'll be able to get down there. If I can, I'll show you. But then there's like a, almost like a little penthouse suite or something up here. Or maybe this is like where the people sat to direct the lights. That's probably, yeah, that's probably accurate. So let me go up and see. All right guys, so I just got upstairs and uh, I think it was like a penthouse suite. I think my first guess was right because there's lots of people's belongings. I think this was like the owner and his family that stayed up here above the stage basically. So basically this got abandoned and they just left. I wonder what happened to all of them. But they got all their random stuff here. Perfumes and other random assortment of things. There's some uh, pictures and a safe also. Like probably where they kept the money from, you know, every single night that this place was open. Well, what's interesting guys is there's like pictures, like I, that might be the owner. I wonder, he looks kind of old in that picture. So I wonder if he passed away and then this place shut down and no one wanted to take over this after he died. That would explain why there's so much stuff here. But, yeah, this is like, kind of like the control center of the lights, I think. I think that's the switchboard. But yeah, we are right above the stage. Sorry, my light doesn't produce much light from this far away, but... I always wondered how people got an overhead shot of this place, and now I know why. But yeah, there's lots of uh, records on the ground. different posters and stuff. I figured there'd probably be at least one picture or poster of a half topless girl just because of the venue we're in. Man, this is like a labyrinth up here. There's so many different uh, hallways. Gosh, look, it keeps going. Hallway down there. Oh, I guess this was the shower. Shower, yeah. Alright, 
so in this part of the hallway, there's the kitchen. As you can see, the floors are pretty bad, so I'm not going to walk in there. But lots of random stuff left behind. Yeah, this hallway keeps going and going. Looks like there's many bedrooms down here. So maybe this guy had a big family. Well, this bedroom looks like it was for a kid. Children's bedroom. There's lots of Lots of kids stuff left, lots of like games and toys. Different like cards and stuff. So it definitely seems like this, you know, was a family business, so to speak. This is interesting. There's this looks like a second kitchen. So these this family had two kitchens. Maybe they had that many people staying in this upper part. Who knows? It could have been like mom and dad, kids, uncle or aunt or grandma or grandpa or something. Because I don't know why you need two kitchens. But literally everything is left here. All, all the bowls and silverware, plates. There's lots of pictures. I don't want to get too close, just to, you know, be respectful. But. Again, there's so much, so many hallways and so many bedrooms in this place. I don't even know where to start. Makeup and every accessory you could think of. This hallway keeps going all the way down. This, this place gets more and more bizarre. There's so many things left behind. But you wouldn't think they would leave these like nice fancy, you know, purses. They just left all this stuff. Lots of random clothes. What's up guys? <laughs> Um, so, I'm just, I'm dumbfounded on how many bedrooms and how many hallways this place has. I turned another hallway downstairs, and there's this other bedroom here, that, and it has some figurines left. It's got an actual bed in here. So who knows how many people stayed here, but it seems like a lot. Unless this, unless some of these, uh, here's another question guys. Did some of the performers stay here? Maybe that's part of it, I don't know. Guys, I almost left until I turned another corner through the bedroom I was just in. There's a second stage here. They had two different stages. Oh my gosh, I almost missed this. I don't even know where or how you can get into this stage, but I came through a bedroom to get here. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, but holy crap, this is a second stage. So they could have had several performances happen, you know, simultaneously. Man. I'm glad I randomly saw this. 
This one has like a interesting background here. It's like an eagle. Alright guys, so I'm definitely shocked. I did not know there was two stages here. And it's, it's weird because I can't find another way to the other one unless you go through this bedroom. But I think there might be two different entrances maybe that I didn't know about. This must go through a different entrance here. But I found a lot of, of these like pictures. Here, let me, here, see this. Look, there's like hundreds of these like, oh, they're matchbooks. Do you, look how many there are. Holy crap, there's thousands of these matchbooks with matches in them. Alright guys, so I figured it out. There are two different entrances for both stages. So depending on which stage you were wanting to go to, there's the entrance to the stage I just showed you in front of me. And if we swing around, that's Coke fridge by the way. But if we swing around here, straight in front of me, that's the first stage I showed you. So there's two different entrances. That's why. I was so confused. Okay, so this place is a lot bigger than it looks.